This is going to be a little bit of a different video. Typically, I make my videos to be funny and my intros different, I try to make people laugh, but this is not that type of video. So bear with me. If you want to go help support Jackie and the kids, I will put a link to Mark's GoFundMe page in the description below. I'll also put links to the other videos that his family has put up. I struggle with making this video for several weeks now. Uh, even called Stephen Cox and talked to him about it. But I wanted to make this video in a way for me to be able to say goodbye to Mark. I met Mark at the school where our kids were going several years ago when him and Jackie moved back to town. And um, we started BSing on Instagram and messaging, text messaging, phone calls, stuff like that. Uh, became pals. Sorry, I'm getting interrupted by my cow. Uh, after Mark had his surgery and he had recovered from that, he called me up one day and he's like, hey man, um, I've got this old welder and I know that you teach your boys welding and I think you could probably use it. It's not the best of shape. It is a Harbor Freight special, but it'll do in a pinch. And I've welded a bunch of stuff with it. He was upgrading to a Lincoln welder. So um, I said, absolutely, yes, I would love that from you. And um, so we met up and he gave me the welder. And then he said that there was a collaboration going on with him, Stephen Cox, and Justin from The Good of the Land for the cancer cart. And he was gracious enough to invite me over there for that. Also, because as he did, I also struggle with uh, YouTube and trying to grow on that platform. Um, I have a lot of fun doing it, but... Uh, I've had my moments of thinking about quitting just as he did because uh, when you're not seeing the results that you, I guess, I don't know, you think or, or wish you were getting, it just gets frustrating at times. He was always thinking of others even when he had nothing to gain from it. Like He didn't have to give me this welder. He, he uh, didn't have to invite me to the collaboration either. And I've been able to make relationships with Justin and Steven, and they're great guys also. So um, I thank him for that uh, very much. So I have a full-time job as a plumber, and I am an amateur YouTuber. And so as an amateur YouTuber, I have to find the time for me that works best to edit videos. And it's typically in the wee hours of the morning and so I'll wake up at like 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning and I'll start editing my video and I'll find something that would make me laugh. And I wanted to try to brighten Mark's day. So I would send him little clips from my e editing and um, or my intro to my video. And I say, hey, buddy, just thinking about you. Want to make you smile. Nine times out of 10, he would respond to me at the four or five o'clock in the morning and I'm, I'm thinking to myself, what's he doing awake? And he would always come back with, man, I couldn't sleep, uh, woke up in horrible pain. This was getting towards the end, um, before he passed. And, um, I'm really going to miss having those chats with him. Probably one of the hardest texts that I've ever had to respond to in my life is responding to Jackie a couple of days after Mark's passing, she wrote me from Mark's phone and texted me and it really blew me away. Um, I cried. Um, I probably took me 30 minutes to write back because I, what do you say to a woman that you can't console? I, 
I mean, there's nothing that I can say or do that's going to make anything better in her life. I wrote the text and I rewrote it and rewrote it and rewrote it. And she didn't have to send that. She had no reason to text me. She didn't have to text me to tell me that Mark had passed and that he loved talking to me as much as I loved talking to him. So that was uh, was really, really shows what kind of lady she is. I remember the last time that I saw Mark, I stopped off at his house to drop off one of my stickers. And I have a train horn on my truck, and he was walking down the street in his neighborhood. And I passed by him, and I didn't blow the horn. And he texts me, and he goes, what, dot, 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 no horn? And I said, I didn't want to be an, an A-hole to you. And he goes, you passed up a good opportunity. I would have done it. Uh, he, he had a special sense of humor, much like mine. But um, I'll go ahead and show y'all this welder. So he tells me, he says, it doesn't have a cover. The switch doesn't work. So just plug it, plug it in and unplug it as you want to turn it on and off. This thing moves a bunch, goes all back and forth. Ground cable's fine. Uh, but if you're running it, what you want to do is just turn a fan on and blow it in there. So that way it stays cool. Otherwise, it will overheat on you. So uh, my kids have used this welder. I'm going to take it to the house and get my kids to do some welding for Mark because I know he loved to weld. He went to the high school and did the ag mechanics program there. And Mr. Vic, his teacher, who is one of my buddies, um, did a great job in teaching him uh, to weld. And he won state with a table that he made in high school, um, went all the way to state and won. So uh, he was a good welder. So I'm going to head to the house and get my kids to weld using Mark's welder. So I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, I'm back at the shed. we got Mark's welder right here. We got the fan on it. I'm gonna be doing some practice welds on this plate. We're putting this welder to good use, Mark. So I hope you're up in heaven right now, smiling. Got these boys practice welding over here. Liam's gonna go first and then Connor's gonna go after him. You ready? Yeah. All right. We didn't even see that No. Take that. I can't, I can't see real good. Did you like that? I'm going to do it one more time. You're going to do it one more time? Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead. You ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Go ahead. Okay. Good job. Can you say thank you, Mark, for the welder? Thank you, Mark, and be in peace. Well, Mark, I appreciate the welder. I'm going to put it to good use with these boys. They're going to get a lot of practice from it and uh, hopefully become as good a welder as you were. Mark's metal shop teacher in high school gave him his welding table back that he won state with. And I know that really warmed Mark's heart. So thank you for that, Vic. You, uh, you did a great thing when you did that. He also put together a video and I'm gonna play some clips from that video now and uh, I'll leave you with that. Hey Mark, it's Vic. Uh, man, it's hard to believe 15 years has gone by uh, since we first started that program uh, with y'all. And I'm on my way into work this morning. I just want to see if you'd get in the front seat with me and uh, take a little journey down memory lane with me. Uh, so 
Go ahead and jump in, buddy. Let's go. Hey Mark. Hey Mark. Hey Mark. Hey Mark. Hey Mark. I want to let you know that the founding values that y'all started this program 15 years ago are still being used. Loud and proud today, and for that, you're my hero. Thank you. You're a true hero. You're my hero. You're my hero. You're a true hero. Thank you. And uh, you always be my hero. You're a hero in all of our hearts. You're my hero. Walking in the shop, and man, I you never you never knew it. It was on the outside of our original building. Our first year sign there, and well, there, there you are right up there. You, your name has been here, and I want to tell you, you you're my hero. Um, you've changed me uh, from the first time I met you when you walked in, just a, a full of life, blonde hair, little boy driving a Corvette. Ah, the bell always gets in the way. All right, well, here it is, Mark. Uh, should look familiar to you. Uh, you worked a lot of hours on it. And uh, I'm going to tell you, bud, from the bottom of my heart, I hope you accept your project back for your kids to be able to build on it, uh, that your projects help change so many kids' lives by being, building projects. And most of all, uh, it was the foundation you laid for this program and, and how you changed all of our lives uh, through that 187-day journey. And uh, for that, bud, I love you. See my baby tonight 